Time now for the skinny and topping our headlines this morning. Cher being sued by three of her former backup dancers. The dancers, all black women, are seeking $10 million in damages, claiming that they were wrongfully fired from Cher's current Dress to Kill tour, claiming the star said there was, quote, too much color on stage. The dancer's attorney says they've been with Cher for more than a decade. Cher's publicist calls the lawsuit ridiculous and that the dancers were cut to save money. Mm. Well, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not going to delve into that one. No, I think it's probably safest to let that be handled by the courts. <laughs> well, if you've been on the edge of your seat waiting to see Matthew McConaughey's buff body in the Magic Mike sequel, you're in for a disappointment. <laughs> it's arena downtrodden reading that one. <laughs> McConaughey starred as a strip club owner named Dallas in the original Magic Mike back in 2012. So the original movie is based on actor Channing Tatum's real Ch Channing Channing Tatum's very good. There thank you, go. you prompter. Real life experiences as an exotic dancer. So Tatum promised the entire cast of Magic Mike would return. McConaughey says. You know, it's just not going to happen. Clearly, he doesn't have a problem, you know, kind of parading around with little, but <laughs> he says he's just too busy. Okay. Well, the pumped up Joe Magniello will, in the sequel, called Magic Mike XXL, you'll recall that. He's uh, uh, Sofia Vergara's boyfriend. Well, he's been working out quite extensively for the role, and movie makers say his body is so ripped that it almost looks fake. It almost looks damn. That's what it says in that oh, line right there. You didn't read that correctly. Very nice. Actress Annie McDowell, she's going to be joining the cast as well. No specifics about her role, but the sequel will follow the strippers to a convention. The production will start in just a couple of weeks. Dan, we'll keep his shirt on for the <laughs> remainder of this broadcast. I assure you. You never know. Could get crazy on this please, Friday. Please. Ben Affleck coming clean about his, his gambling habits. He says so there's nothing to hide about these habits, though. In the new issue of Details magazine, he says it's true he counts cards at Blackjack because he tried to get good at it, and that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, Affleck says the casinos don't like it when you win, so counting cards, it's against their rules, even though it's not illegal. And that says more about the casinos mm. than about anybody who plays cards there. Yeah, so he's adding he's never been kicked out of a casino, just told he couldn't play blackjack, so the slots were still open. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, Affleck's new movie, Gone Girl, opening next month. So if he's hard up for cash, can't be counting cards, maybe we'll get some from that. Maybe he should do Magic Mike. Uh, uh, well, there you go. There's another way to turn some cash on the side. Coming up next, replacing a legend on Saturday Night Live. Executive producer Lore Michaels has named former longtime cast member Daryl Hammond as the show's new announcer, replacing Don Pardo. Hammond actually served longer than any other performer in the history of SNL, working in the cast from 1995 until 2009. He also used to sub for Pardo when Pardo was sick, even impersonating that famous voice. Don Pardo, of course, sadly died last month at the age of 96. A big voice mm. that will be lost forever. Time now for some celebrity birthdays this Friday. So let's take a look at who's celebrating their big day. Holy birthday, Batman. Wow. Adam West is turning 86. Former Good Morning America co-host Joe London is turning 64 today. Nashville sensation Trisha Yearwood is 50. And comic Jimmy Fallon turning the big 4-0. A big happy birthday to all you folks.